So in this example, we're going to find the missing coordinate of P, point to P, using the fact that P lies on the unit circle. So again, if P lies on this unit circle with all the radii on one, and this is the x-coordinate, x and y. One thing we know is, again, from previous examples, that basically x squared plus y squared is so equal to 1 squared. So I know that x squared plus y squared is going to have to equal to 1 squared, or just 1. So if that's the case, um, if I know my x coordinate is 3 fourths, I'm going to take 3 fourths, I'll plug it in for x. It's going to be 3 fourths squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And you basically solve that equation for y. So if you have 3 fourths squared, when you square the numerator, you want to have 9. When you square the numerator, you should have 16 plus y squared is equal to 1. And then from there, you subtract the 9 over 16 from both sides. So when I subtract 9 16 from here, subtract 9 16 from 1. And when you do that, you should wind up having y squared equals to 1 subtract 9 16. And you can plug this in the calculator, or you can just know how to add fractions. I multiply this 1 by 16 over 16, so I can make it out of the same denominator, which is 16. And then I'll just subtract there. So basically, if you multiply the 1 by 16 over 16, I'm not going to show that because that goes back to adding fractions. So if you multiply that 1 by 16 over 16, you get 16 16 subtract 9 16 So you can subtract right across the top. And 16 subtract 9 should leave you 7. So you get not, you got y squared equals to 7 16 so next you square root both sides, you square root y squared, and then you square root 7 16 So basically your final answer will wind up in y is equal to positive or negative square root of 7 divided by the square root of 16, which is equal to the square root of 7. And you can actually square root 16, so that will be 4. So y could be either two numbers. Y could be positive or negative square root of 16 over 4. But if you go back and look at the directions, it said the y had to be negative. So the only one that we want is a negative one. So it's going to be negative square root of 7 divided by 4. So the coordinate for P, P is going to wind up being 3 fourths and negative square root of 17 divided by 4. We have 17, so negative square root of 17 divided by 4.